Or here's meteorologist Tom Atkins, your weather authority. Welcome back as uh, we take a look at downtown Edinburgh on our Sam Catania painting, Kim. Uh, obviously, they have treated the streets down there in this snow event which has passed, uh, yielding at least seven inches. I'll get the official total for you later on. But it's over, as we like to say. And uh, this is pretty from Canadota Lake. Thanks, Fred and Sue. And, and this is just about an hour ago. So we've had another beautiful sunset. And even though the snow has passed, we still have very cold temperatures, and we still have uh, winds that are picking up. So Ellie Mae reminds us, uh, take care of the pets, animals, livestock on another cold winter night. And speaking of cold winter day, a high of 20, a low of 16. Now you can see where that compares to the normals of 35 and 22. Good news is temperatures going up. Bad news is winds also going up. So uh, for the month, we're still stuck at 3.4 inches of snow recorded at ERI. Normal is about 12. And for the season, we're about one fifth of where we should be, uh, 10.5 inches of snow. So here's what's going on. Gain in daylight, of course, nine hours, 18 minutes today. Milder tomorrow and dry. It's a little bit of wet snow on Thursday. Colder again Friday, but no big lake effect behind the cool down. Uh, over at the crew, Bob Zawatsky making an observation, not a recommendation. The bay has an ice coating on it. Just word to the wise there, just received that. Joe in Northeast at 18, Keith and McCain at 19, Carol in Union City at 17, Dave in West Springfield at 19. Now, as I said, these temperatures in the mid-teens to near 20, as you look across Southern Erie and Crawford, are going to be going up later tonight. 17 rows in Espyville, 18, Mr. Anderson in Richmond Township, and then out on our Easter flank, already down to 9 in Kane, Warren Fire Department at 17, Bob and Kitty in Cooperstown, 17 as well. So winds are coming from the south, and that does two things. It makes the temperature go up, but it also gives you cold wind chill factors. So keep that in mind if you're going out tonight. By early tomorrow morning, temperatures in Erie could be close to 30, but it'll still be windy. So high pressure protecting us, no precip all the way back to the west. So we got at least 24 hours of that. And as we were doing some maps in motion, kind of taking a look at the short-term local view, Clearing tonight, clouds tomorrow, some wet snow tomorrow night, but not a lot, and some on Thursday. So let's go a little bit further. And again, red streamers, winds out of the south. There's your rising temperatures. And this front that's coming in as we go into Wednesday and Thursday, we're still on the warm side of it. So that's why we say wet snow and not a lot of it. And behind it, you can also see with a good lake effect direction on the winds, but not a lot of moisture to make lake effect snow uh, as we go into Friday and Saturday, mainly just cold. So winds increase and so do the temperatures tonight, but it's dry, lows right about where they are near 20 and rising later on. Edinburgh, Titusville, Meadville inland, clearing late, becoming breezy, 14 to 18 and rising. Big spread in the mountains, Chautauqua, Warren, Forest and McKean becoming breezy. Temperatures going up again. So uh, for tomorrow, breezy, milder, mostly cloudy. But look at that, 35 to 39. Extended forecast for the next seven. Some wet snow Thursday, uh, 38, and then it drops. You can see the temps Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But we're seeing only a few flurries Friday and Saturday. No big accumulations. Martin Luther King Day, as well as the next day, Monday and Tuesday. Looking at a little bit of snow showers. Nothing big, but highs close to freezing. Both days, guys. Not yeah. Thank you, Tom. Coming up on.